Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be reading a little story from Reddit. And yeah, let's have a look at it. Am I wrong for refusing to pay my gay son's tuition after he came out of his family? Almost definitely yes. J just from reading that, it feels like, and, and unless there's some incredibly good context, just c coming out to someone isn't a valid, right, or in any way good justification to, what, pulling someone's tuition? Yeah. Uh, okay. So far, not so good. <laughs> my son came out to my husband and I when he was 14 years old. My husband and I are both atheists and support the LGBTQ plus community, and we were both proud of our son for coming out. However, my husband's mother is a devout Catholic and is extremely intolerant of gay people. She is wealthy, and my children were told from a young age their college would be paid for, as long as they attended a private Christian or Catholic school. She believes this will keep them from partying, having premarital sex, etc. I don't agree with this, and have argued my children getting the best education possible, regardless of the school's religious affiliation, should be her top priority, but she refused to change her mind. My son chose a Christian college one state over to attend. He graduated with a lot of college credit from taking many AP classes in high school, and will be done in three years as opposed to four. He's currently just begun year two, which has already been paid for. During Labor Day weekend, he came home to celebrate his grandma's birthday. He told one of his cousins he was talking to a boy in college and thought he could trust him. He seemed supportive according to my son, but he told his mum and dad, and my husband's sister and her husband are just as religious as my mother-in-law, and outed my son to her. She is livid and called me and informed me she will not be making any future payments towards his tuition, and told me to relay the message to him, as she will no longer be speaking to him. I've told him many times not to come out to his grandma, cousins, aunt or uncle, until he was through with college. I hate that he can't be himself, but my husband and I can't afford his college. I don't like my mother-in-law, and will be going no contact once my other two children, who are 15 and 13, to get their chance to have their tuition paid for as well. My son's okay for me waiting to do so for the sake of his siblings. He'll unfortunately have to take out student loans and eat the cost of his final year. My son is obviously devastated that he will both not have his final year of college paid for next year, and his cousin is not someone he can trust. He now wants me and my husband to foot the bill for the next year. We have 25,000 saved up currently that we plan on using for much needed kitchen renovations. Our oven barely works, our dishwasher doesn't work at all, and the kitchen itself is worn down and outdated. My son is saying I'm wrong for prioritizing a remodel over his education. We've explained to him our kitchen is falling apart and it's much needed and is nowhere near the cost of his tuition. So even if we postponed it, we would still be short as his private school is very expensive. I feel like he is an adult and he needs to be the one to deal with the consequences, not us. What? Uh, uh, okay, straight up, that in every way conceivable, saying the coming out, that there should be consequences to coming out, that is completely wrong. What are they, what are they thinking? Be being, your, being your true self, there shouldn't be consequences to being your true self. That, that, that shouldn't be a thing. Okay, first of all, that grandma is completely controlling. Just because your husband's mother is a devout Catholic doesn't mean that you should let her control your kid's entire life. What, because they're rich? Uh, that's basically what I'm getting. So your husband's, yeah, your husband's mother wants, wants your kids to live her ideal life and follow her Christian rule, I guess? I, I genuinely do not know why you would just let that happen. What, why can't you leave it to yourself and, you know, even the remodel for 25000 Even though it wouldn't pay for the entire tuition, I feel like your son not being in debt probably takes a bit more priority over a kitchen. I mean, of course, like, some things that are, like, actually essential, of course, need to be replaced, but 25000 to replace a kitchen is a lot. That That's an incredibly large amount of money for a kitchen. From what I'm getting from this, I'm kind of... I'm kind of feeling like you just think your son being gay is something that... Oh, it's okay to, to hide. It's, it's not something okay to hide. You know, no, no one should have to hide their true self. That's just in every way wrong. And the fact you said consequences of coming out as well. There shouldn't be consequences to being yourself. If, if you feel comfortable enough to come out as who you truly are, you shouldn't have to... Yeah, you should never have to deal with consequences of just being yourself. And the fact that you have to you say that and don't stick by his side and let him understand that being himself is completely fine and he shouldn't have consequences for it. That is completely wrong. Alright, let's look at this, Adat. 
I feel like these people are easily in the wrong. Edit. I feel like I should clear up the kitchen remodel. Obviously appliances alone aren't going to cost me 25000 The majority of the money is going to be necessary infrastructure repairs. I live in an expensive area, and yes, this is what it costs to fix the necessities. My kitchen will in no way be fancy. I should have been more clear in the original post, and I'm not doing a remodel for aesthetics. If you live in an expensive area, and you can just afford 25000 for a kitchen remodel, you should be- you, you should very easily be able to afford a year of tuition, even if it's the, even if it's expensive. You know, like, at least you could just help him with day-to-day -day costs or something. Because from what it looks like, you could easily afford just to help him live. I mean, of course, you know, he could get a loan for tuition, but you could help him in some way. You don't just have to go, oh, okay, you came, you came out, and our extended family doesn't accept it. So we're just going to throw you to the dogs. We're just going to we're just going to give you loads of financial debt and we're not going to help you at all with it. That, that is exactly what you're doing. Even though it seems like you're in a very privileged position to help him in some way. Alright, let's read some of the comments. They're, they're going to have the exact same opinion as me, I think. This post was by a deleted account. You're wrong. Not because you can't afford it and letting your adult son figure it out, but for saying it was his fault he lost his money. In this entire post, you are more angry and disappointed in your son instead of your bigger parents. You are more angry at your child than the little tattletale who vomited homophobia at the first chance they got. Trying to hide yourself is so fucking hard, and you've expected your son not to have any public relationships for years and years. You say, I hate that he has to hide himself, but the moment he tripped up, you said, well that sucks to be you, now fuck off. You are not accepting him as you seem. I completely agree. Yeah, that's basically exactly how I think the situation is. But why aren't they angry at the parents? You know, you, you should be sticking by your son, especially for something as integral as just them being themselves and their freedom to be gay. You should be sticking by that, yet you have not at all. I don't know if these people have got like their own prejudices or they just don't know how wrong they're being. The person most in the wrong is obviously that controlling grandmother. Very controlling person. And also OP as well. If, you know, I'll say it's acceptable, of course, you know, just to not pay for it. But I mean, even then I'm kind of doubting that because expensive neighborhood, 25,000 for a kitchen. That, that, for me, that seems a rather privileged and financially well situation to be in. They're definitely wrong for basically insinuating that but there is consequences and there should be consequences and consequences are fine for coming out as gay and being yourself. That's definitely wrong. But yeah, that was the story for today. Hope you enjoyed and see you later. Bye bye.